plays that tell the story of this game. Bump, I've got five of them. I'm going to go through each one, and uh, we're just going to talk about it. These were chosen specifically because they paint a picture of what we all saw last night. So they're not just highlights, but they kind of tell the story of what went right, what went wrong, and why the final score is what it was. Um, so uh, let's start with a fun play, though. DK Metcalf, 73-yard touchdown. Dallas in the backfield. Geno from the shotgun with three receivers to his right. JSN, one of those guys, four-man rush. Geno steps up, throws the slam. What a catch! There he goes! DK, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Seahawks! 73 yards, DK Metcalf on a perfect slant route thrown by Geno Smith. Holy catfish, what a way to start this one for the Seahawks. You get a stop on D. You go right for the jugular, and the Seahawks go on top six to three. Important for so many reasons. I want to hear what you saw with the play itself, what you liked about it, but I would be remiss if I didn't also say that this was your hype train. Yeah. Go at Bland. I understand. Look, and he did have an interception. Great interception. Mm -hmm. It was great. But my man also gave up a whole lot of yards and several touchdowns. And he didn't have a resume to say, oh, my God, we're not going to go at him. Diggs had 11 picks one year, and he also led the league when it comes to receiving yards against. But what I saw in this play is it was beautiful, man. And Gino needs more credit. These are the little things. I don't know. Maybe you guys saw it. But a lot of the times I'm, I'm doing the pre- and the post-game show when people are just talking nonsense. And Gino made this play happen. And the reason why he made this play happen, he catches them in a man with a single high, maybe two man, but I think it was one high man. And he's all he does is slightly look to his right side, right? Safety has to flow to the right side. Mm -hmm. DK runs a great route, gets inside leverage, left foot in the ground. Bam, he's on time, and the rest is number 14. Those little subtle things that um, that Geno does throughout a game to make the play successful kind of get overlooked. So, yes, DK made the catch, got the knees up, throw up the deuces, sign language. I forgot what he said in the sign language uh, celebration. I think he said Bland can't stop me. I think, I think like that, that was it, yeah. Uh, but uh, Geno moved the safety with his eyes through a dart. What are the crazy things people are saying? Uh, or the mess people are I, I just don't think they see that. Oh, okay. I think so they're that, like, Gino got lucky. Yeah, I, I think okay. they see the tight window. And I, some guy texted me, oh, he, that was a tight window. He's lucky he didn't get, get intercepted. Yeah, you got to make throws in tight windows. It's, yeah. the, it's the NFL. Yeah. And that slight move of your eyes opened up that tiny window for you. Uh, another uh, story of the game or another play that told the story of this game is another DK touchdown. But we chose this one in particular because it was right before the half where Gino essentially has to throw three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back touchdowns. And they are all caught because of the ridiculous number of penalties. Finally, they end up getting it. Medcalf wide to the far side. Charbonnet wings out of the backfield to the left. Gino's going to throw the slant. And for the third time, touchdown Seahawks. But a flag is down again. It might be offsides on the defense. Offside. Yes, sir. Defense number 90. Thank, Thank you. you. Is all the play is a touchdown. Three different shots at the end zone. Three touchdowns. A couple of them stopped. And now the Seahawks finally get the score from a yard out. And now the Hawks, with four seconds left, are a point away from taking the lead in this first half over the Cowboys. I need a value. And, and they did take the lead, 21-21, entering the half. And, Bump, I thought this was important because the Seahawks just couldn't be denied. We were seeing life from the offense. Resilient. That was a resilient yeah. uh, uh, few sequences right there. Noah Fan gets called back, and he finally go to DK, and it's a beautiful route, man. It's, a, it's called a, a tempo route is what I call it. You, you release off the line of scrimmage. You hezzy a little bit. Left, right, boom, left foot in the ground. Turn your body to the corner. Box him out because you're 6'3". Again, Gino on point. Not all plays are fun plays. Mm. So the next three do tell the story of this game. I want to hear everything you think about them, but I will let you guys know this is going to be a dose of truth. Um, another play, there were other touchdowns. There were field goals scored. Uh, like I said, Seattle didn't punt in this game. However, there was a crucial drop to turn it over on downs by Tyler Lockett. Gino takes the shotgun snap. Now he looks. He's going to throw. What a throw! Oh, just could not quite get to it. Trying to lay out and grab it. It came on him so fast. Tyler Lockett literally was coming out of his break just as that ball got thrown, and Tyler just could not get his hands on the ball. Oh, my goodness. Lockett is an amazing receiver, but this yeah. is one of the worst drops I've seen from him. And his second drop on the day, he had one before this, yeah. but this one more crucial. He wasn't on it that day. Um, again, 
you complete this, I think the Hawks win the ball game. Who knows what happens after this? You still got to what? Either uh, kick a field goal, score a touchdown, or move, yeah. move the football. Uh, but I think the Hawks win the game if Tyler Lockett makes this catch. And it's so unfortunate because you know how hard this dude works. You know how reliable he's been over the last, what, six, seven, eight years. And the ball snuck up on him. Geno threw it. It was it was too perfect. It was on time. He puts his left foot in the ground. He snaps his head around. It literally hits him in the face mask. It snuck up on him, man, mm-hmm. and sometimes it happens. But Lockett has so much money in the bank when it comes to yeah. just uh, his reliability. He can make some deposits. Unfortunately, you need it. You need it. Uh, he can make some withdrawals, excuse me. But unfortunately, you needed this deposit on this uh, this fourth down. Uh, four of the five plays that we chose for today, Bump, uh, are about offense, even though we said that defense kind of cost you this game. This one, our number four, is about the defense. So I want to hear not just what you saw in this play, but maybe some of your thoughts about the defense as a whole. Prescott takes the snap, looks to the left side, going to throw it to the end zone, reaching up, making the catch for a touchdown is Jake Ferguson. He reached right up in front of Jamal Adams in single coverage. That ball was just perfectly thrown in the front corner of the end zone from 12 yards out, and the Cowboys take a one-point lead. And that one is the go-ahead touchdown for Dallas. They then get a two-point conversion. Yeah, um, you got Jamal in a space where he's ain't, he's not comfortable. I mean, he's a he's a ball player. He has to cover. He's a safety, but that's not typically where you want him. And good job for the Cowboys for getting this matchup. And all, all it is is this nice little wheel route, and Jamal's in good position. But once that football is in the air, now you got to make a play and react. Ferguson does a good job of boxing him out, using his body. And Jamal just couldn't make a play on the football, man. It's unfortunate. But um, you got to tip your hat to the Dallas Cowboys. They got the matchup that they wanted. As soon as Dak saw that, he goes, I'm going to Ferguson.